Hello and welcome back to more Kindergarten where last time we played the Jerome storyline and as per usual, things just get more and more insane every time we play, but today we're going to be doing Miss Applegate's storyline, which I'm pretty sure we need to do by just doing the inverse of what we did in the first episode, where instead of, instead of actually, when, when Miss Applegate uh, offers for us to be her, her informant for, for Kindergarten or whatever, instead of denying her, we just say yes and then I'm assuming that'll take us down her storyline, so we're gonna... We're gonna repeat the events of the first day, which is why I have I have I have more than three dollars. I have seven dollars right now because three of them, or like I, I guess at least half of them, is gonna be taken by bugs, and then the remaining is gonna be just leftover cash to buy anything that we might need along the way. Uh, so I'll, I'll just retrace through the steps of the original episode, and then I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, teacher, my money hath been stolen. Also, I like how they uh, you, this isn't text you can skip. Like, you have to w let this text play out in its full form, so that the game lets you know for sure, like, hey, if you want to do bugs a storyline, you gotta not rat- you got you have to not be rat- rat them out. Oh, happy day! I'm finally rid of that little Jared. Here's your gold star, as promised. Hmm, now you've got me thinking, though. Jerome thinks he's so high and mighty because he's the principal's kid. Why don't we arrange for, for him to visit Daddy? So I'm not on board with being this informant, but we gotta, for the sake of, you know, progressing the story. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Come see me during morning time and I'll tell you what to do. Lovely. Well, in the meantime, so, I, I, it, it has occurred to me that Monty has a voice recorder for sale. I'm guessing if he, if she wants to get people in trouble, the best way to do that would be, well, actually, I guess technically we can do it for... We could probably either plant cigarettes in someone's bag, or just record them saying something, like, manipulate them into saying something wrong, and then record them. I'm guessing she's not gonna be jazzed about this, so we're gonna go with this. We're gonna buy ourselves a voice recorder, and see if that's gonna, see if that'll get the job done. And that should be all we need. Okay, uh, is there anyone else we can talk to? I guess, I guess I, guess I could, I could waste an apple, but, you know, may as well talk to someone else in the meantime. Hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Wanna be my boyfriend? No, I don't, actually. I forgot this was a terrible idea. Well, totally be the cutest couple in school, but first you have to do something for me. Isn't our love enough? Ah, that's cute, but no, it isn't. You're gonna have to prove it to me. Yeah, I already proved it to you. I'm sorry you people have no memory of what happens between each day, but I already proved it to you in the very first episode through a lot of extraneous tasks that I'm not doing again. Why? How about because I'm the prettiest, smartest, nicest girl you'll ever meet, and I'm gonna prove that last one to you by dumping a bucket of blood on someone else's head. Or sorry, making you dump a bucket of blood on someone else's head. Does that do it for you? You don't seem like any of those things. Oh, Cutting deep here. Excuse me? I know you did not just say that to me, because if you did, I would have you take it out. I would love to see you try. Of course, I'll still to see you as a crater. Fine. You asked for it. What are you gonna do? Why do? Oh, <laughs> okay. Zero to a hundred real quick. Oh, dearie me! What is going on over here? I had someone cry rape in my kindergarten classroom. Yes, Miss Applegate, it was me. This boy tried to rape me. What the fuck? What is happening? Ah, <sighs> Cindy, leave it over this. Boys are wanting to be your boyfriend. Does not count as rape. But as for the school policy, I have to send you both to the principal. Oh, did I? I, I, I um. Might have made a mistake. This might not be. This may not jive well with her. With her plans to make me an informant. You punish me for almost being raped? No, you listen to me, you little parasite. You are going to the principal's office. End of story. This is so unfair. Yeah, yeah. Tell it to the principal. The fact that that's a regular occurrence is disturbing. Oh, hello, friend. I'm sorry, bugs, but you leave me no choice but to. Oh, uh, what now? What are you two doing here? You tried to rape me. Great. <laughs> That is certainly a response to have. Well then, Bugs. Doesn't like you get off easy this time. Get out of here, you little dumpster fire. Now don't, don't talk to me on the way out. I'll be seeing you in recess, pal. Okay, you two, let's get this over with. Not an attitude to have as a principal. So you're accusing your little friend here of trying to rape you. Really, Cindy? They're not even taught. They're not a. They're shorter than the damn desk. How is this a conversation? Yes, sir. I could barely fight him off. Going to assume you are going to deny that you raped her. Is that correct? <laughs> What's rape? I don't even. I, I, I feel like I screwed my chances of going down Miss Applegate's route. This, does, this doesn't seem. This doesn't seem like I. This, this jives well with her plans to make me an informant. This seems like a, a bad plan. Uh, yes, I'm going to deny it. That's what I thought. Well, since no one witnessed the incident, you don't have any proof. There's not much I can do except separate you. Oh! 
Oh, we recorded the incident? Oh, I didn't realize- I mean, I, I know we bought the voice recorder, I didn't know we turned it on. Okay, well, there's that. You did? Well, that makes this a hell of a lot easier. Cindy, do I even have to listen to this, or will you make it easier on yourself and just admit nothing happened? But, but, he- but- okay, fine, but he started it, he said I was mean. Not good enough. I think I'm going to enjoy not having you in my school for a while, Cindy. I'm going to keep this recorder in case there's any trouble when your awful mother calls- JESUS, MAN! Well, like, yes, she lied. Of course, punishment is due. But that doesn't mean you're like, I'm gonna enjoy not having you around, and your awful mother- your other awful mother calls. Like, good god. No. Now, why don't you run on back to class now? I think you missed enough learning for today. Oh my good god. Okay. Oh, you're back. Where's Cindy? Well, my plan to help you kind of went down the toilet, because I just lost my voice recorder. Uh, what's a punishment? None I have proof I didn't do it. So that means she's gone! Oh, happy, happy day! I was so sick of hearing all of her nonsense! You would have earned a gold star! What of? Well, our little ruse didn't get rid of bugs like I'd hoped, but don't worry, there's plenty of time to handle that later. <laughs> Is your goal just to get every single one of these students expelled so you don't have to do any work? Like, I, what the- what? That's not- that's a temporary solution. Ah, yes! That high and mighty drone! Always talking back to me because his dad is my boss. I think it's finally time we got even with him. This will go over great. Now this, I'm sure this is this is this great plan. The principal has informed me that one of his hall passes has gone missing. I'd bet Nugget's life that Jerome took them. What? I can do that. Excellent. Let's go over there and get him to give it to you. Okay. Hey Monty, I'm in the I'm in the business. I'm in the mood for another transaction. Now that I know that Jerome is is who we need to. Get some from Jerome. Can I get a yo-yo from you? I'm in need of a yo-yo. Give me the yo-yo. It's only a dollar, so we have enough for it. Pleasure new business with you. Cool. Okay. Hey Jerome. Let me know. Okay. Go to Stractor. Uh well, I got the hall pass. So that worked. Here. Give me just a minute. Jerome's distracting me. I got the hall pass. I knew it! Jim, you little cockroach. We've been over this. You can't just steal your dad's hall passes. What? You read me out to the teacher? Dude. Yes, he did. He's a good little rat. Please stop calling me that. No, because that's what you are. Teacher's special little rat. Just like Jerome is teacher's suspend special little suspended hooligan. Oh, come on, bro. Thought you were cool. Look, I'm just going down the Applegate route so we can unlock another route later. Well, he's not. And because he's so uncool, he gets one of my special gold stars. Now, why don't you go take that pass back to your dad? I'm sure he'd love to know where it went. If he's not gonna get expelled, I mean, well, I mean, obviously, it's that being being the principal's son doesn't pr doesn't prohibit you from being expelled, but it's a, certainly a rare occurrence that that happens because of how nepotism works. So. I, I'd be stunned. Well, I mean, so obviously, if it was an, if it was something extreme, then you you couldn't really hide behind nepotism. But for something like stealing all of us, I'm pretty sure Jerome isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So I, I don't know if this plan is working out as well as you think it is. He's probably just gonna say, "Son, don't steal any more of my hall passes." And then he'll be like, "Yes, Dad, of course, Dad," and they come back to class like, and then and then life's gonna be made hell for me. Because if you if you want to take a swing at someone like this, then you better be prepared to knock them out. Because it's because if you don't, they're just gonna get back up and, and come at you harder the next time. So this is not a great plan. Man, stupid rat, get me in trouble. Dad is gonna kill me. Well, I mean, maybe, I'm sure you will pay. I'm sure you'll probably be punished at home. But as far as school is concerned, I think you'll be okay. Oh, it's just perfect. You're a natural at this. Let's keep this kid. Let's keep this kid in a train rolling. You're insane. I have a special plan for Nugget. Just befriend the little weirdo by the time recess starts. Sure, make friends with someone you never talked to in this timeline because they forgot what happened on the other timelines. Before lunchtime, that's great. Or, sorry, before recess. What a great plan. Feel free to get- Oh, sorry. Feel free to get any of the other kids in trouble while you're in there. You don't have to get creative, though. Great. Nugget, be my friend. I'm not going after all your nuggets of friendship, though. Nugget does not wish to spend the morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. Do you want to be friends? Oh, Nugget normally spends morning time alone and eats lunch alone and lives life alone. Nugget supposes he could be your friend. I'm not going after the five nuggets of friendship. You eat this nugget. Okay. Yes, do this for Nugget and we will be friends. Is this the poisonous nugget or is this a regular nugget? It looks different from the one on the cubby. I, th I think this might be the poisonous nugget. Good. I remember the taste of the nugget. We were dying together at lunch. Nugget, we'll see you then. Oh joy. Well, it was it was nice knowing you guys while we were alive, but we're dead now because we just ate a poisonous nugget, I'm assuming. 
Okay, kids, our lunch bell. Let's go down to the cafeteria for a nutritious meal. I hear we're having slop today. How exciting. Something new for a change, I see. Okay. Uh, so are we friends with Nugget? I'm not, I'm honestly not entirely sure if we're friends with Nugget or not. Uh, I, we can't buy anything else from, else from you, unfortunately, because we only have 25 cents. Even if we could, don't know that we have, we'd want to buy anything else. Figured you'd be seeing me, seeing me around now. Stop is no good, and I don't think anyone is brave enough to try a biscuit from the janitor. Dumb old man can't even spell it right. Okay, lovely story. Anyway, uh, hey dude. Nugget is pleased you have returned. Tell Nugget, the nugget you consumed was very tasty, yes. You couldn't taste the poison? I, I told you it was the poison, this one. Nugget poisoned the nugget. Dirt. Perhaps. Depends on what you do next. Uh, Bugs just threw slop at you. Yes. He does that every day, but today Nugget is poisoned, and you are going to poison Bugs for Nugget. Man, we just skipped all the Nuggets of Friendship. Could, could, we feel like we could have skipped this last time, too. Because Nugget also has the antidote that will save your life. Okay, lovely. <sighs> How do I poison it? Here's another Nugget. It is quite similar to the one you just ate, only this one is far more potent. Just get Bugs to eat it. Okay. In a hurry, Nugget thinks you have until the bell rings before the poison does its work. You, Man, just blackmailing people with poison. In kindergarten. You know, just your average every day, every day, every school day. Okay, well, we did this once before, we can do it again, just call him a sissy. Uh, sure, why is it? It's a nugget. Uh, because otherwise you'll look like a sissy. And we tell him Cindy said that, that worked last time, it'll work again. She won't if you eat the nugget, eat the nugget, and then, and then you die. As per, you know, the usual chain of events. Alright, give me the antidote, I poisoned him. Is it done? Has Bugs been poisoned? It's done. Wonderful. Nugget is quite pleased. If what do you say is true, Bugs should die any moment now. Now, and there he goes. Here's the antidote as promised. I, I still, it just blows my mind. Have one is so nonchalant about this turn of events. Uh, please come see Nugget at recess. Nugget would like to show you something. And what might that be? Also, we're down to three. We got Nugget, Monty, and Lily left. Everyone else is either dead or expelled. So, that's just fantastic. We, we're, we're... You know, at some point we're going to be the only student left, and then what, what's Miss Albuquerque going to do to us when we're the only one left? I fear that day. That sounds horrifying. Alright. Oh yeah, he did miss- I didn't even see that. He did miss Scale Biscuit. It says Biscuits. Should I tell him to fix it? He's probably going to stab me, isn't he? Biscuit- Biscuit balls, get your biscuit balls here. Get them while they're hot. You spelled Biscuit wrong. This is- I'm going to die by this. I am going to die by this. Or, I, oh, actually, oh no, he's, he's gonna kill Monty, isn't he? That's what's gonna happen, right. That makes, oh yeah, because, okay, got it. He's, he's doing this is going to cause him to kill Monty, which means that now it'll only be Nugget and Lil, yep, got it, that's what this is, okay. What? No, I didn't. How would you even know? You can't even read. Monty can. Ugh, is that the dweeb with the glasses? Who am I kidding? Of course it is. Hey, nerd! He's dead. Um, what do you want? Got some janitor stuff you want to sell me? No, but I got a coffin for you to buy. Jesus Christ, I- 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 I told you! I didn't want to be right, but I told you! Lessons were learned, lines were drawn. Children were scarred, people were- I tried to think of a rhyme and I failed, people were killed. You were a good kid for letting me know that the light little monster is going around correcting spelling. And in a school of all places. Yeah, why would- <laughs> Grammatical correction in a school? What nonsense. Shameful the way kids turn out these days. Yeah, shameful. But you seem to be one of the good ones. You just let the old janitor know if anyone else has anything to say about his spelling. I don't think that'll happen again. Oh, these glasses flew off the nerd's face when I hit him. You can have them. These old eyes don't miss a thing. Okay, lovely. Uh, this game is just dis disturbing and on many different levels. Alright, what are we doing again? Tell a teacher that you gained Nugget's trust, get Lily in trouble. I don't know how to get Lily in trouble. Uh, we have to wait till recess for that. Do you have anything interesting to say before I use my last few apples? I didn't mean to exit out of that. That was not my plan. Oh, I'm not allowed to let any of you kitties out in the hall doing lunch, but maybe you could do me a little something if you wanted to me, want me to look the other way. And I seem to have misplaced my glasses. Well, lucky for you, I found some glasses, apparently. <laughs> Oh, lovely. Thanks so much. Go ahead and do what you gotta do. I won't stop you. Spoken as if we wouldn't have been able to go to the bathroom even if we didn't give her the glasses. Okay. Well, let's go. I, I don't know where we're- I guess I, I guess I can go try to find Lily. Oh, well, I guess we found her. 
Uh, where does this door go, actually? This is the door to the principal's office. Oh. Okay. Uh, can we make up a lie to get Lily in trouble? What the? It's lunchtime. Who's knocking on my door? What are you doing? You're gonna get us both in trouble. What are you kids doing out here? You should be at the cafeteria. Um, Lily was eavesdropping on you. That's a lie, but we're gonna tell her because it's our mission to get her in trouble. If Lily was eavesdropping, then what were you doing? I knocked to let you know. Lily, you've been over this. I had nothing to do with your brother's disappearance. Why don't you step inside my office and we'll talk this over again? I know it was you. I'll one day I'll prove it. I'm getting real sick of this young lady. Office, now. Please excuse me for a moment. So she's da. Oh, okay. That was not. Oh, yeah, I, I, I knew that was gonna happen. Doesn't make it any less stock jocking. Um, yeah, I'll just go outside and play then. I need. I will touch that until we deal with Lily's story. Well done! You got Lily, Malty, and the Bugs? That's unprecedented! The playground is dead, and so is all, so are all the children. You've earned three gold stars! I don't want- These are- these are just awards for murder! I don't want these! What about Nugget? Did you manage to befriend the little mole creature? Are we gonna shove him in the hole? Excellent! You see that hit that hole he's standing right over there? He's been digging for a few days now. I'm pretty sure he's gone straight to the bottom of the box. Yes, I would be impressed if it wasn't so dangerous. Unfortunately, I have no way to prove how dangerous it is, and the principal doesn't seem to care. Let me guess. Are we going to be involved in jumping down slash pushing someone into that hole? Because he wanted anyone in the hole who doesn't trust. That's why you're going down there. Uh, he doesn't trust you? Of course not. It may be weird ugliness, sir, but he's only a, li a little stupid. He knows I'm out to get him. I need you to go down into the hole and find something. It doesn't have to be much. Just anything we can use to get him in trouble. Well, there was a dog's corpse down there last time I saw, so like that would probably get the job done. Come back when it's done. Alright, Nugget, take me down the Nugget hole. Thank you for coming, as Nugget asked. Nugget normally does not have any friends to show his work to, but today he does. Are you ready to enter the Nugget cave? Sure am. I sure am. Excellent. But first, Nugget must do something, and what might that be? Oh, right, the Nugget pile, of course. There. Now we are ready. So we know, we know all this. We've, we've been through this song and dance before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, welcome to the Nugget Cave. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up real quick. Uh, but do not fret. Nugget did not do it. Nugget was just digging the Nugget Cave when it fell from the sky. Nugget dares not bring it to the surface. It would probably cause trouble. That it would, and that's why we're gonna bring it. Alright, take me a, I, Exactly how are you getting out of here, actually? I didn't even think about that. How exactly are you getting out of this hole? There's no ladder or anything to... Okay, I guess we just do. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Hello, Miss Applegate. I found a dead dog. Well, what did you find? A dead dog. Oh my dearly me! Is that... Is that... Is that Sydney's dog? Nugget! What is it, large teacher lady? Did you kill Sydney's dog? What? No! And Nugget would never... Well, well, not never, but Nugget is relatively harmless. Don't lie to me! Nugget is not like he's good. Yeah, he's gonna he's going down the hole. Although I would imagine the Nugget pie would still be there, so he'll probably be fine. I knew it was you. And he's dead. I guess he cleaned up the Nugget pile before he. I, shouldn't you just always leave it down there, in case this ever? Okay. Oh my, that was unfortunate. Great. Now everybody's dead. Well, that didn't give his plan, but I'm really pleased with the result. You've earned another gold star. I don't care about... These are all rewards for murder. Would you look at that? The playground is completely empty. You've gotten rid of all your classmates and collected six gold stars. Now I go home early. Don't I get a reward? Oh, right. Your reward. Here you go. It's a special lunch pass. You can use it any time you want to have lunch with me. Uh, that, that my favorite pastime, lunch with the teacher. It's my way of protecting my rats for selling out their friends. Well... There's no one left to teach today, so I'm gonna take off. Look, kid, either I can earn a gold star, or you can start walking home. Choice is yours. I'll walk home then. Good. I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles. Jesus Christ, this school is wacko. Oh my god. We have, like, I can't even... We're not even at the end of the game yet. There's still more insanity to go. Alright. Well, I guess we'll see what happens next. So that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. I'll catch you all tomorrow for some more kindergarten. Goodbye.